Welcome to the channel folks, Clunkers and Classics, where I'm going hot and heavy on this uh, 85 IROC Z. Uh, I haven't been recording much, so I'm going to go over, we'll go over what we got done so far on the last episode or two, and then what I've got done so far and what we're going to finish up for this video. Uh, somebody commented, oh those third generations are so easy to work on yeah buy one without an engine transmission wiring harness all the wipers AC radiator that's completely gutted that was all thrown away gone forever and then try to figure out how to put it back together and make it complete and, and nothing easy about that. It'd be different if he took all the stuff out and had it stuck in a corner somewhere, even if the motor was blown up. At least I could, you know, figure out where all this wiring harness, you know, well, that's the thing. It, he didn't even have the wiring harness. So anyway, that's what we got done so far. I put the motor transmission in a, a couple of years ago. We, we just set it in there. I mean, it was just set in. So... I've got it all on this video series. I've got it all hooked up and uh, bought a, a used wiring harness that was supposed to be for an 86 Camaro carbureted. Uh, and he gave me the ECM computer, but it was wrong. It was like an 87, 88 computer for a Monte Carlo or something. So after a few messages back and forth, he, he gave me a hundred bucks back. I paid 200 for it, so uh, I might send them back that ECM. Isn't it? It's no good to me that they go for 100 bucks on eBay. So uh, doesn't matter too much. We're not hooking up the computer, but <laughs> look at the mess of wires. There's just it's overflowing with bullshit to hook up. Well, well I'm not going to hook it up, but I need so so far got it running starting got the alternator working even though this harness never came with the two alternator wires I use the alternator things off that truck this plug and this uh, somebody said this is a hot wire from the starter yeah that's how it was on the truck but this wire comes out I don't know where it goes to I got it sitting right here. I tried hooking it up <laughs> to this other one. Somebody said, this one goes to the AC. Yeah, it probably does. So this, and there should be a ground and maybe another connection. That should be over on that side. So I got a few things to hook up. Uh, water temperature gauge, sender, unit, plug. And then the AC, I think that's about it. Everything else seems to work. Got the oil gauge working, of course the distributor working, uh, oil gauge, uh, fuel gauge even works. Uh, volt gauge works. So we got quite a bit working. Oh, we gotta get the, uh, yeah, somebody says, oh, just, uh, just disconnect the harness for the computer stuff. Yeah, it, it doesn't disconnect. None of this disconnects from each other. So I can't just unplug the computer portion and throw it out. You got all this stuff and wires going over here and there. Uh, this is a separate little harness from the... See, all this, all this AC stuff was missing. So my helper years ago, I had him put all this on. So all this stuff here is for the 89. And somebody said, oh, that plugs for the blower motor. Well, the blower motor's already plugged in. So I, I don't know where it plugs in. But then somebody else commented, yeah, you know, a lot of cars just have empty plugs, even newer cars. So, yeah, there's going to be empty plugs that don't go to nothing. Well, this car, 90% of it's not going to go to nothing because all the emissions and smog pump and all the bullshit is all gone. But we need to tidy up this after I figure out a few more things. Uh, but I haven't taken the dash apart yet to see this harness comes in through the firewall there underneath the dash. 
and we got to see if that's plugged in so that's another thing uh been screwing around with this for the last couple of hours just on this damn signal light and marker lights couldn't get these that they were you put the four ways on one would flash and the other one would be opposite and it ended up being the socket i took two sockets off a parts car that looked perfect both of them were just something wrong with them so finally after the third one i got it spliced in it finally synchronized and anyway i got uh, the, the marker lights the signal lights and then the headlights the one high beam came around and then I had to replace this high beam. Then this high beam started working on this. We'll turn them all on here in a second. Uh, but before that, I thought they were all burnt out. Well, I thought these two were burnt out, and then the high beam and this one was burnt out. And this low beam was, I already replaced that. It was actually broken. It came, the glass came apart. I actually, so before that, I actually uh, <laughs> bought these set of led lights it's like 48 dollars shipped for four of them so I'm, and they're just plug in so i may put them in i don't know tell me what y'all think about them they're supposed to be black but they're black and clear but i got them all working now but i could always use these yeah for that or the silverado truck bought the uh overflow jug and the uh, windshield washer fluid. Uh, so I'm finding out more stuff. So this is 82 to 87. Does not have the pump, the washer pump built in. Okay. Like I said, all this stuff here is off of 89. I told my, it, this thing was completely gutted. I told my helper put everything from the 89 V6 car onto, onto it. I'll deal with it later, and now it's later. So, the washer pump is supposed to be built into the wiper motor. Uh, I cannot find on eBay, there's a hundred of them on there, but I cannot find the one for mine. It might be on there, but they're not showing the plugs. The ones that are showing the plugs... Uh, they're not they're not the same as mine so when I when I was looking at it earlier it said it was the same as 84 to 87 Corvette so I got an 85 Corvette parts car so I took the motor from it it has a bottom plug and two plugs here but what I've got from the harness is this plug that has two two of these and then this one now I found this little pigtail on eBay and it's it's for the uh, see if you got the washer pump hooked on to the AC it, it it this one doesn't this 85 vet doesn't and the 89 wiper doesn't see here's a little pump here and this is the plug from my harness which I don't know what this goes to now it may go to the temperature um, so the pigtail said this is for the washer pump that hooks on the wiper motor and the, when you buy a wiper motor you don't get the washer pump you got to buy it separate so uh, i cannot find one with this plug and this plug and that's the only two that come off this harness i'll show it to you here right here two and then this little this little one here is what's what's causing the problems because there's some with three it's called the two three and a three three so i need the two that hooks into the bottom then i need three that goes across but then this is supposed to be the washer pump so is it supposed to have three plugs like this corvette i don't know I'm trying to either get this one to work or splice into this one, but this one has, these are the wires I cut off. This has three at the bottom and then uh, six on the top. 
and of course they're all different colors than this one and this one see these are the only two that come off the harness for the wiper so i i don't know anyway that's uh the cruise control i'd taken that off that is hooked up underneath there it's hooked right into the brake light and all that so i hooked that back up it's this tube and the wiring goes here into the firewall so it's hooked up uh, and then I wrapped the cable and kind of put in this little bracket here it's supposed to be even with the gas pedal accelerator cable so that's where I hooked it to uh, but I just put in one bolt there I'll have to tack weld it on there if I want to put it on there permanently but uh, this electronic carburetor I don't know what's all this thing here I'm not sure what it is a metering thing or something the thing although this got lots of bad gas in it well not it had some I drained it all out except about one gallon you couldn't get at I put in four gallons of good gas mixed with it I just put in three different kinds of additives uh, STP and Barzol or something and anyway three different style hopefully that'll work but it's it runs good but it's uh the idle it'll die and uh all that and then it'll, it'll run on you turn it off after it runs for a while and it'll pop, 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 pop. uh so what i did and and people were saying that uh if you don't have the electric hooked up to it and all that it'll uh it'll run bad and stall and leave you stranded and all that stuff so uh i ordered another chinese carburetor now i know there's a bunch of them on ebay a bunch of uh, different makers just put in i'm not i don't gonna have a link to it just put in you can't put in links on uh and comments and all that so i just put in rochester carburetor or rochester quadrajet a whole bunch of them will come up made in china knockoff I put one in the 82 El Camino, it's working great, even though I don't drive it much because Nikki goes with me everywhere, she needs a back seat. But I'll take it, and that was 150 bucks with the cheapest. Found one for 138. So that should actually be here tomorrow. So yeah, I'll probably put that on in this video. Uh, so yeah, I got that coming. So that's about all we've been working on. I took the computer off the 85 Corvette, but yeah, nothing plugs into that harness the guy gave me. I got three computers and of course they were all fuel injected. And even this, I took off the Corvette, which is the same as mine. These deals here and it's supposed to, it doesn't plug in. Looks like it's supposed to plug into that, but it doesn't either. Anyway, um, we're just going to leave that unplugged. That's plugged for the computer, but I can't find nothing to plug into it. Don't need it, so. Uh, okay, I've just been lubing the hell out of them windows, and they both work great now. Like I said, they work better when you... This thing was running on. See how easy it is to start. Starts right up. Here's this window. Okay. Um, I think I got some better. It runs on. Um, I think I got some switches on a parts car, but I had to swap that to the passenger side. But anyway, it works the same way. It was up and down good. So we got the windows, uh, got the lights. See how it runs on? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so there's the low beams. High beams. Oh, there we go, stolen, see? <laughs> the exhaust sounds great. So yeah, all the lights work, except for the one marker over there. There, finally. Uh, I love this exhaust system, guys. If you got if you got one of these Camaros, spend the money. It was two sixty or something for the headers and the pipes, and that's what you need. You need them pipes, three pipes from the header, one there one on the other side and then the Y to connect them both I think I need to put that clamp up a little bit but anyway they fit perfect under there because these Camaros are such low riders that you need something that's going to be right against the floor pretty much so yeah I had to cut out that section welded that in went over that last video uh, so that it's it all sounds really good uh, real happy with that um, so yeah and the other thing I like about this car look no drips from the tra unknown transmission which works good I have gone through all the gears with it up on here somebody said it's supposed to be electronic it's a 700 R4 I need to check see if there's any electrical plugs that plug into that it went into all the gears and overdrive I believe but anyway, I had filled it up. No drips from the transmission. No drips from the engine. Which is great. Uh, on this, I need to top off the check. And top off the differential fluid. Uh, let's see, I got a little list here. Uh, plug that right rear tire. Bleed the brakes. Uh, check the power window antenna. Uh, see the harness for the computer goes in here and this hole is a little bit screwed up but that's supposed to be against there and then we're going to have to check these wires here for uh, the power window power antenna okay um, if not if it don't work I'm just gonna put in a standard antenna because we got an aftermarket stereo and it looks like new speakers newer speakers in here which we need to check so the main part of this video is taking this whole dash out uh, I don't know if this is like this or my helper did it because he had to he might have had all this out he had to put in all that AC against the firewall or actually the guy that I got it from probably did all that so it's all busted up see and uh, but it looks like newer speakers in there and the, and in the back but I'm gonna see if I uh, got a perfect one on that 91 parts car so this video is gonna be about changing all this over hopefully the these gauges and cluster can come out of there and go in the 91 because the 91 is different but it looks like all this is the same. All these, the console mounts up to it and all that. It's just different around the gauges. Uh, if not, I don't know what to do, but we'll have to uh, change the headlight switch. And then I got three or four dash covers. We need to find the flattest one and glue that new overlay cap on it. So that's, that'll be the, the win for this video will be all this new and the and the dash cap but i'm doing all this other little stuff too that's what i'm trying to trying to wrap all that up and then uh then yeah we'll have to uh we'll drag the parts car over here like i mentioned last video and we're going to take the windshield out of it the door panels uh some other stuff the uh 
the deal in the back that holds the spare tire that's chopped chopped in half or chopped I don't know what the hell they took a section out of it for some reason we'll have to cut that out of the parts car because we got to drag it over here as I don't have no air to uh, to I, I, I got an air tool to take this windshield out and I don't have an air hose you know 200 feet long to go all the way over there but yeah once we get this dash out of there we need to find out the uh, wiring harness I think it's just this these wires here see where they go they go in the firewall back there we need to check make sure they got power so we can get this get the blower motor and stuff working and what was there something else over here oh I changed the uh, flashers uh, little deal there found them both so I got the signals working four ways working uh, they all work except the uh, dash lights for it dash lights for the signal we turn the signal on they, right here they don't come on uh, but it's probably just burnt out bulbs well, we're gonna check all them bulbs once we get it out got two parts cars so I should have enough bulbs to uh, finish all that off so yeah we want to wrap up all this wiring and get all this stuff working as well as changing over all this dash so once I wrap up all this little stuff we'll get on the dash I still get you know, like I said I'll do the rear end fluid fix the tire uh, bleed the brakes uh, all the brake rotors pads everything look good um, and there was fluid in the master cylinder I cleaned it out put in new fluid but the brake pedals just go to the floor they said the rotor pads and everything are good we'll just bleed them I got a air bleeder one man air bleeder and uh, we'll just go through it and uh, yeah I mean it'll run and drive right now if I take it off the stands and then once I bleed the brakes then it'll stop that was the main goal of this car was to make it run driving and stop and uh, but we're going ahead fixing everything on it I guess because the next stage is all the free stuff like I mentioned the windshield the dash little stuff like that uh, so anyway guys let me let me get rolling on some more stuff there's the stereo there the Sony plug that in make sure it works on the speakers like I said and uh, oh yeah let me figure out what to do with this wiper motor situation here I don't know exactly what to do about that okay guys let me get some more stuff done and I'll be back and give you an update okay guys it's the next day I put this cover on it every night in case dew morning dew or something gets in it anyway I put on the two reservoirs uh, I looked Looked and looked for a power steering pump. I think I got it narrowed down to two different Cardone deals, but uh, it doesn't have it on these two. But there's a cover like this that has the built-in uh, washer pump with a plug on it. So the plug is kind of like half on this and half on the pump itself. That's what I can't see. It's supposed to be supposed to look like that okay uh, nobody sells that nobody makes that so I can get the pump itself without this cover on there uh, even look on rock auto because I thought well rock auto should have it and yeah they got the pump but no washer or they got the motor no washer pump so I, I don't know I guess I'm stuck unless I try to find a used one it's supposed to be 84 to 87 so I don't know we'll have to leave that pump for now till I you know come across another one they keep saying 84 to 87 Camaro Firebird and Corvette well the Corvette is definitely not that's not a pump uh, so and I looked on my 85 at 85 and that's off the parts car they're both the same 
So why they keep saying 84 to 87 Corvette, I don't know. Anyway, we'll have to leave that for now. Okay, so I got the dash out. Uh, <laughs> I didn't record any of it. It's just uh, a lot of screws. And these are kind of screwed onto the top of it. So I kind of put them there. This speaker is kind of ripped up. Oh, shit. Ripped up there. Yeah, they're not that new. <laughs> uh, then this vent here was all busted up. Pretty sure that's just from taking this apart without unscrewing everything. Because there's little screws here you got to get at. Then when you pull it apart a little bit, then you got to get these screws here for the harness. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that is. And then these two, this one and this one, plugs into this gauge cluster right there and there. And I'll have to check all them bulbs. Basically, you just pull them two out and then this speedometer cable and uh get these wires away from the uh they got these built-in clips here built into the loom i had to cut them you know just snip it uh so yeah there's a so as you pull it apart then you got to pull this these two out this is the uh cigarette lighter and whatever that rear defrost button then on this side you just pull these out the headlight switch and the uh no i guess that broke great that's for the uh fog light button so anyway and this is all kind of loose i'm not sure why that's supposed to be well you had to drop the column down yeah it bolts into the bolts in this column okay so let me tr try to trace these wires to see all this all this AC stuff my helper had to put in so either he broke the console or the guy that took it out make a race car out of it took all that out anyway they butchered it all up so there's some electrical stuff here I'm not sure what all this stuff is uh, this deal, this deal. But yeah, let me trace these wires and see if I can get this working. I think that was about it, seeing that the cruise control was hooked up. I think that was about it. Okay. So it's the, the whole dash here. Yeah, there's that button. Hopefully I got another one in that 91. If not, we'll figure it out. But yeah, that's where it's all busted up here. They just butchered it. Uh, little vents there popped out. And that's where the harness pops in. There. So we just hope this part here is the same on the 91. And then this here is busted. I don't know what the hell how that got busted, but anyway, well we'll I'm fixing to go take that 91 out. Let's just walk over there real quick and I'll show you. Uh show you the door panels too that you eventually take off of this one. They're gray, but better than what I got, which is <laughs> I ordered a lawnmower through Walmart online. Be here in a couple days. Uh, I need to move some of this wooden stuff out of the way. I'm just going to take the dash off here. I don't need no air tools or nothing. As you can see, this pad here is no good. But, so we get a new cover. Okay, see, so all this is a little bit different design, but it's all, should all be the same. That's all good. 
there then the gauges are just different so hopefully well actually that's that's a separate piece isn't it but this console here is all the same just that this is different up here so I don't know uh, door panels complete in good shape all the buttons and everything and these are what I need here they're in good shape but was it these ones or I thought it was this Amazingly, yeah, these might be it too. Well, see, these ones are in good shape other than this, but they're wind-up windows. Again, these are good. And see, this is all busted up. He tore that thing up, taking it out. So, yeah, here's part of it here. So we gotta try to make that one work. Well, okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out and uh, move some of this wood out of the way so I can get at it. Yeah, you know, see, there was a big ass tree here years ago and it fell down and uh, busted that mirror off. Now this hood was propped open with some wood and there must have been a little mini tornado or something it flipped that hood that was propped up I guess it wasn't bolted down it flipped it over on on the roof weird because I never put it there uh, but I think this windshield here is good and I think this one here is good too I need to wipe them off and check them real good but we're going to uh, save one of these windshields and use it for that one and uh, I wanted to check if this if this rubber was good if not we're going to uh, have to order that rubber yeah this was a 305 throttle body so none of this stuff is the same this is all this is all like the 89 wiper motor and harness and all that so and none of this harness stuff would work okay well let me start uh start taking stuff off and uh i'll be back okay guys i got it out best i can tell you is take every screw and a couple of bolts underneath that you can find uh this seems to be like the other gauges and plugs in these two plugs here uh, well, I'm gonna plug it in the car and see what happens um, this has been all apart before we only took all these stuff apart uh, only reached 54,000 miles okay uh, so the little things different there from that one so I don't know I'm gonna put the old gauges in here see if they fit if not we'll we'll plug in these gauges in the car and see if they work if they do we'll just use this so then I took out all the plastics they all seem to be the same but I don't know and uh, in that old mobile home shed there I got a couple of uh, dash pads that dash pad that was in that 91 was worse than this one I think I got one that's a little flatter that we can glue that cap on there that overlay cap okay let me mess with the wiring under here before I put all this in there and uh, I'll be back okay guys where these gauges go in it's completely different the way they mount set in there so uh I hooked up I hooked up this the gauge off the 91 to these two clips and uh 
none of the gauges work plus it's got electronic speedometer instead of this deal where the cable goes in so it ain't gonna work so we're gonna have to use this original gauge set um, so yeah I was afraid of that I figured that was gonna happen so my thoughts were I took out this old crumbled piece of plastic and put in the one here from the 91 so I think what we're gonna do it seems to be the same from here over so I'm thinking of cutting it uh, I'm gonna do some measuring but I'm thinking I'm gonna cut it in here somewhere and uh, use this part passenger part and uh, put in some urethane or something in there See, this is actually, see, it's a little curved there. Or is this one square? But we want to get rid of all this busted stuff. So, it's the only thing I could think of, just to use this, use this, and then, uh, see, this one you get a good straight, kind of a straight cut there tuck it up underneath here but we'll figure it out and then we'll just bolt this one on and glue it in with urethane on an edge okay well let me do that and I'll be back oh I want to see if these wires were live up here first uh, yeah I think these were for the speaker and they run the this wire here for that speaker this one here for the right but yeah let me see if we get some power going to these wires here uh, this whole thing can come out too but uh, I'd rather not take all that out I think the wires are coming in coming in right there from the firewall we'll see if we got power to it so we need to get power power to this deal here I think that's all we really need everything else seems to work okay I'll be back okay guys I cut them both in half joined them together <laughs> that's the 91 that's the 85 so I haven't been recording much because this is a time-consuming job and if I did a whole bunch of clips and edit them, the job would take twice as long. Okay. So I put in the first section there first, and then uh, cut this one to fit. It's not quite all the way in yet. Uh, I got the bolts along the bottom to do. Then later on, I'm gonna do the column or the console. Uh, yeah, these speakers are both all cracked up. Uh, I don't know if I got... I think I got some... Yeah, they're built a little bit different. This section here has the plastic speaker holder built into it. Whereas that one is a little metal separate piece. But anyway, this is where it joins right here. And uh, whenever I do the windshield and get the urethane out to put the windshield in I'm gonna put some urethane down here and cover that up but other than that uh, it's pretty good it's better than having the whole thing all cracked up and and everything so yeah I still still got a ways to go here got to put all this all this stuff up underneath there cover up underneath kick panel back on tape up kind of wires out of the way okay uh, this deal is getting power but it's getting power through this but see how it's been spliced in 
I don't know if that's factory or what, but apparently this is a power wire here and it goes in and it gets power to this, which is this button here. And when you do, when you do click that, move that, it sends power to here, to the switch. Okay, so it is getting power. Um, but of course the blower motor, nothing comes on. So we gotta check the power going to that motor. It may be as simple as hooking one power wire up to that section up there. So, uh, I can put this together. Then this, uh, this is a ignition wire, comes on with the key, key is on. I think that's for the radio. Uh, and then they had this wire here for the power for the radio. So the radio looks like it's all connected. These are speaker wires, and we'll, we'll test that out later, but I can do that when the console's on. So I kind of know where all the wires go. Uh, the, the light switch, I tried the other one, but it didn't like click. You know, you pull this out and it clicks parking light. Uh, so I put the old one back in, and now when you go to for the parking the parking lights don't come on headlights do when you pull it out so i don't know what's up with that i just went ahead and ordered a new a new switch it's like 13 bucks so i just kind of got this in temporarily because to get at that light switch you got to take the gauges out and you get at get at it through there but i got the connector deal that goes in there so it is connected in there it's not all loose like the other one was broken Okay, then I got to button up all this bottom stuff, and well, I can't quite do that until I get that switch. Can I? I was gonna say mount this column up and put everything else underneath there. But anyway, I'm gonna do this side and do the uh, console, and uh, get that stuff done. So let me get that done, and uh, I'll be back with a with an update okay guys I uh, got all the console in yeah this thing's kinda ripped I don't, I don't have another one it's crumbling apart uh, that Sony stereo that was in it didn't work so this one plugged in the same another Sony I had laying around and it it worked perfect the first time and now it's I think all the menu buttons and all that are messed up it keeps it won't seek a radio station and all that but anyway it's on there powered works um, the wiper switch <laughs> and I was saying the uh, marker lights wouldn't come on park lights well it was two there was two blown fuses there because there was a couple of live wires laying around and uh, anyway now that now it works but it's kind of doing the same thing every once in a while this it'll come out like that and uh, put it in there wiggle around a little bit there now it works so anyway I don't know if I should wait for the new one. I got one more Camaro with another light switch on it, but other than that, I just got one screw holding this on there. This needs to be all bolted in. Same with the steering column. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go with the dash pad now. You see the, on this angle. Now I do, I bought a box of uh, four of these, or extra power supply and uh, USB cable and I thought I could probably put that right like that cover that crack up Once it's fixed it won't look as bad, but anyway Find a spot for that somewhere But okay, I went in my shed Mobile home shed and I found this one just got a few little cracks in it 
So we're gonna I'm gonna clean that up, blow it all off, Windex it for the uh, silicone to stick, and we'll get that dash cap glued on there. Okay. Yeah, that's the only thing with living down south. That's what the sun does. These plastic interiors just crack them real bad. Anyway, let me get this all cleaned up. We'll glue the uh, cap on there. Okay, got it cleaned up a little bit. There's the new cap, $53 shipped off eBay. So, you just basically wrap it around that lip there and you gotta just wrap it around the front and push it in there. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty good now. It doesn't have the hole. It's got the holes for the speaker, which is good. It doesn't have the holes to mount it. So you have to drill out four holes there. Mounts four there and then some underneath here. So, uh, yeah, just cover it with silicone. They give you a little, a little thing of silicone, but I got a big tube. We'll probably just gunk it all on there. Let it sit for a little bit and then stick it in the car. I'm going to put the, I'm going to put this in the car first, make sure it fits. Uh, make sure the speakers ain't bulging up or something. Okay, well, let me get that done, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I haven't glued it in. I put the dash pad on there and just put those screws. They're just under here, I think three on each side. And then uh, push the cover on. Uh, it fits pretty good, but right, right here, it's sticking up for some reason so we're gonna have to put some books on there like I did the uh, Silverado I'm gonna glue it down while it's on the car and put some books in there give it some weight and push it down and then uh, then I'll take the whole thing out and uh, drill them screw holes and everything cuz uh, I gotta have this out to cut the windshield and I gotta take, might have to take these out too. So yeah, anyway, that's uh, that's how it will look once it's glued and dried. I think it'll look pretty good. Put the IROC Z emblem back on there. So yeah. So, Okay, well, I think I'll leave this video at that. You'll be able to see what it will look like. Um, yeah, because I came out here last night when it was dark to check these dash lights. And that's when when the park lights wouldn't come on. And the, because uh, I have that one little bulb in here that always comes on. It actually plugs into here, but it was loose. And it would always come on when I pulled the park. And nothing was coming on. Swapped around light switches and everything and ended up being a fuse blown So anyway, I'm gonna come out here tonight and uh, Screw around with these dash bulbs and the signals see See the four ways you can hear them click and they work, but they don't They don't light up And I don't know how many other bulbs are burnt out in there so I still got to do all that stuff, but anyway, got a lot accomplished. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, the uh, car damn cats, damn uh, carburetor didn't come today. It's coming Tuesday. Today's Sunday. Anyway. Next video, we'll put that carburetor on there and uh, 
get some more work done to this. Uh, I've already mentioned all the tons of work to do to it. Still got to bleed the brakes. Yeah, this shifter was missing a shifter. This is an aftermarket shifter that was in the uh, other blue Camaro. So I put that on there. That yeah, was free. Dash was free. Windshield's going to be free. We got to cut out the patch for that rust spot there. And this. Uh, this. I don't know why they section from here to here cut out so we'll have to cut that out it's probably what we'll do next video guys we'll i'll show you how i take out windshields and uh we urethane it in there but yeah look at it from here i think i can round up a couple of these little grills you just got to be pushed right in uh there's little grills that pop in there most of the time they're missing, but I got so many of these, I should be able to round up two of them. But yeah, I think it'll look pretty good. Um, yeah, we just got, oh, and I put everything up here uh, all back the way it was. Even the computer's up in there. Of course, it's not plugged in. Uh, I couldn't get the power antenna to work, so this is a manual, regular antenna. I got from a uh, parts car so I got all that in there uh, I did top off the rear end fluid it was just took a little bit so it was pretty much full oh these uh I had a a nice set of these switches but then they didn't work from the parts car so I had one that worked and that one that was busted uh, that ended up working, so I had to take the little bezel thing off of them, screw around with that. So anyway, yeah, somebody had wallowed out the holes a little bit, but and uh, they actually wallowed them out to pull them out because they're hard to get out. And uh, they put a little goop in there to hold it. So, see, well, so anyway, they all work which is amazing for a Camaro. So that, yeah, we'll take the door panels off, put them on here, uh, next video. Just got so much work to do, guys, that uh, we'll just keep rolling along. Okay, well, subscribe if you haven't, bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Uh, it's free, doesn't cost anything. And uh, like, comment, share, supposed to help the algorithms. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next video.